help eliminate some of the nationwide baby formula shortage anguish, Conceivabilities Surrogacy and Egg Donor Agency recently launched the hashtag Milk Bank Challenge. It's a movement to replenish milk bank supplies across the nation. And joining us now with more is founder Nazca Fontes. Thank you so much for being with us. Good before, morning. Yeah, we, thank you for having me. Talk about this challenge. I want to ask you, how did you come about founding the agency? Sure. Well, 26 years ago, I founded Conceivabilities right here in Chicago and uh, originally we were an egg donor agency and I worked at that time within IVF clinics and I had a front row seat in understanding uh, the difficulty and challenge in recruiting egg donors at the time and I just thought as a young professional woman working in the field I could attract and help educate other women like me to become egg donors and so really that was the catalyst to start this agency which has grown and helped thousands of families since then not only with egg donation but with surrogacy as well. I mean you think about all the, the, the difficulties mm. These parents go through to have kids, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we think when we're young, it's going to be, it's going to happen like that, and then it doesn't. And then you have a child, and then we have this milk shortage. I mean, the amount of stress that has to put on a parent to try and feed their baby every day has got to be huge. Yes, the complexities and challenges continue. Yeah, yeah. And so I've been hearing so much about the formula shortage, uh, and but. I haven't heard about solutions, and I just love that you guys are doing this uh, groundwork. Sure. So when we first became aware of this shortage, you know, we realized that our mission perfectly aligned with the ability to help bridge this gap. Our mission is to create a world where everybody who wants to be a parent can. And of course, adjacent to that is creating a foundation for healthy, strong families as an outcome. And so as a surrogacy agency, we have surrogates and intended parents who go through a surrogacy journey. And once they're completed, these surrogate women often will pump for a short period of time oh, for their okay. intended parents in order to create that strong, healthy foundation for those families. And so we thought we could encourage and inspire our surrogate community to continue pumping for just a little bit longer and in turn donate that breast milk to some of these milk banks. And then we thought, you know, this could transcend conceivabilities in our surrogate community. We could reach surrogates nationwide throughout the United States. And then we could also encourage other lactating women who perhaps have an overabundance of, mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. breast milk. Perhaps they are on the precipice of weaning their babies at home. Mm -hmm. And hey, wouldn't it be great if we could collaborate and partner and you could donate to some of the milk banks that exist right in their own backyard. Okay, so you guys are offering uh, gift cards for women who are willing to participate. That's right, so whether they're a surrogate, whether they're a lactating mother, uh, any donation that is made to a milk bank throughout the United States, we will provide them with a $250 gift card they can use that to buy more supplies to help uh, pumping, or they could just simply use that for their own family. And to encourage others who may not be in a position to supply breast milk, anybody who wishes to donate to a milk bank, we will also match that donation dollar for dollar up to $250. Because as we know, uh, milk banks are non-for-profit organizations right. and they depend upon donations to help their operations run smoothly. I just think that this is a brilliant solution to chip away at this problem. What I mean, what has the response been so far? Little, little by little, we're chipping away, right? But every little bit counts. Um, to put it into perspective, um, our most vulnerable infants in the NICU, one ounce of breast milk feeds them one meal. Mm -hmm. So a woman who pumps an eight ounce bottle provides eight meals for an infant in the NICU. Wow. So every little bit of this liquid gold, liquid gold. helps. <laughs> so, you know, as being having been a mother too, I never thought about going to a milk bank. But, so how does it work? What's the safety and viability of like, how can I use someone else's breast milk to feed my baby? Sure, absolutely. So the first step would be, folks, please look in your local community. Just Google milk bank. I promise you, you will find uh, milk banks that are in close proximity, no matter where you live in the United States. Connect with them, find out what the requirements are. Um, they will gladly work with you and help you to understand how you can participate and donate in, an order, in, in a way that's very healthy uh, and very safe. Okay, I'm assuming all of it's testing because I think people would be worried about using someone else's breast milk. Absolutely. So just like uh, lots of things that you might donate, whether it's blood, plasma, um, you name it, you know, there are some um, steps that you need to go through to ensure safety of, of the product. And I'm sure after all these years, very satisfying and rewarding. You know, this has been a great challenge <laughs> for us. And for folks out there who want more information, please visit our website at conceivabilities.com or on social media with the hashtag milk. 
Milk Bank Challenge. Well, thank you so much for being there. And again, like she said, even if you are not in a position to donate milk, you can still donate and get uh, benefits for the Milk Bank Challenge. Absolutely. Yeah. Please do. Thank yeah. you so much. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank